Here's the quick start tutorial. So we're going to start off by looking up Forbidden API in the toolbox or the link will be in the description. And once you insert it into your game, it's going to look like this. Just go in here, replicate storage, ungroup it. And now you have the Forbidden folder. So you can now delete the model, doesn't matter. And in here we have multiplayer queue and pre-coded. We're going to use these because we are not going over how to make like a VIP queue that will add them to the front, but yeah. So we're going to add a text button, put that here, and in the handler. Um, oh yeah, service script service, put that in here. And now we're going to server side, just uncomment this code. This is what I'm going to use for now. Actually, I'll make a, a little thing. So we're going to make these our destinations. So whenever two players get added to the queue, I want them to move to either one of these parts. And we're going to call this teleporters. Place them in there. It isn't an accurate name. You don't even have to change the parts. I'm just doing this as an example. But we can go destination equals um, workspace dot what is it uh, teleporters get children and we in here we can do destinations i so this will make just a quick random teleport form and in here we also can make it button dot visible false players so whenever a match is found a, a table and this is only fired if the player that is included in this um, match and it will give you the players so that also includes the player the local player in the table keep that in mind join request so we're going to print joining and we're going to print eBay. I'm not going to go over how to make like a fancy screen with viewport showing the two players about to fight or if that's your game, but yeah. So we're going to come in here, local server. I hope this works, otherwise I'm going to look like an idiot. So in here, you press one button, it says it's joining, press another. There's the two players that were added to the queue. And you can see they were teleported to the two parts. That's the basic premise of it. If you also look in Forbidden, you can see... Um, oh, that's not the right one. Let's go back to over here. You can see that we're using Forbidden's uh, queue module to make a queue, check its length, remove the front, add them to the back, and remove. If you're interested in doing that yourself, just go over to the queue module so you also can add them to the back so this is why i'm saying this if you want to make a more advanced queue but still use forbidden modules and functions then here you go and in here the info is everything you'll need to do that so yeah pretty cool hope you guys can can make your dream game and i hope you enjoyed this video please like and sub and i hope to be back with more tutorials